All right, I figured I'd throw a video of my 96 Club Car DS on here. This is a gas model. I went ahead and put a six inch lift on this with 22 inch tires, added a lot of accessories, uh, different lights. Figured I'd go ahead and share some of the things that I've done to this to give some other guys some ideas. Maybe you'd want to do it to this or an ATV or, or sort. Uh, put cell phone charger, voltmeters, all kinds of things. A lot of the stuff I purchased on Amazon, so I'll go ahead and put a link in the description below on them things. If you guys want to go ahead and order them, you can check that out. I like to do these videos, especially on the LED lights, sort of give you guys an idea before you buy it and sort of see what you're getting. So, like I said, I've done a lot of things to this, you know, anywhere from marker lights to headlights, brush guard light. I'll show you all of them through the video, how bright they are. I'll do a couple test passes out back, let you guys see how bright they are. Um, a lot of fun things I did to this, some different things. Uh, one other thing you've noticed, I put front and rear clearance lights on this, and any golf cart with clearance lights wouldn't be complete without an air horn. So that was something else I'd added to this. That's a lot of fun, uh, sneaking up behind people and hitting that. So let me grab the camera, I'll just do a walk around, show you some of the lights, and then we'll go out and show you how bright they are. Alright, this video is not going to be a how-to to wire anything because I would just have way too much time trying to explain how I did everything on this. Behind here accessible is a full fuse panel. There's also a built-in relay panel I made with a bunch of different relays. Um, there's more relays underneath the seat. But the way I have this wired is when you turn the ignition on, nothing will work without the ignition on. You turn that on, it's got a little LED there. That lets you know that the ignition is on. When you turn the ignition on, that powers up my USB port, uh, ports for my cell phone charging. I got a voltmeter here. This tells the voltage of the battery. And then I also have it hooked up to where when I drive the cart, it will tell you that the voltage is being charged to the cart. So when you're driving the cart, it tells you how many volts are going to the battery. And then when you stop, it just keeps an eye on it, letting you know how many volts are on the battery if you're using lights, that kind of stuff. Uh, the reason I put that on there is because I had a voltage regulator go bad and I ended up putting that on there so I could make sure I was charging. Um, this LED here is not used yet. This one's supposed to blink amber when I get less than a gallon of fuel in the tank. I haven't hooked up the fuel sending unit to do all that yet. That's one last thing I have to do. Um, I got two more lights up here I'd hooked up. When you put this in forward, it lets you know that you're, you're green. And when you put it in reverse, it blinks red, letting you know that the cart's in reverse. You don't have to listen to that annoying buzzer. Um, just something else I'd done. Uh, one other thing, if you do have it in forward or reverse, you'll notice nothing will happen. I did that as a safety precaution. I got a safety switch here. When you flip this up, it puts on a red light, letting you know that the starters are engaged. Now the cart will fire up and it will run. So as long as that safety switch is down, nothing will happen. I mean, you could leave it in neutral, but I did that as per caution, just having the kids hopping on the cart all the time. I can leave it on with the lights on and not have to worry about them, you know, touching anything, making it go. So some of the things I did, I put marker lights all the way around. Uh, I got the headlights. I got just regular headlights so that when you're running around a campground or somewhere, they're bright, but they don't blind everybody. Then if you want extreme light, you can turn on the brush guard light. Now, if you turn off the headlights, it turns off the brush guard light. And if you turn off the marker lights, it turns off everything. So. The headlights will only work with the parking lights on and the brush guard will only work with the headlights on. That's just how I wired it. That's just how I like to do things. I'm a little different, but that's how I did it. Uh, a couple of the other things I've done, as you can see here, I mounted some glove box lights so that I can see everything really bright if I had to look around at night. And then also you can leave it on and that lights up your little tray here if your phones. Um, I got footboard lights front and rear. I'll show you them on. Uh, this you can just leave on if you're out and about and it lights up the campground. And then this one here is my red. That's my rear lights. I'll go ahead and show you them. So let me do a walk around here of the golf cart real quick before we go out and show you the headlights in action. All right, the clearance lights are just a slimline flat Peterson uh, three quarter inch LED uh, clearance light. I really like these because they don't bubble. They're smooth. They're flat. That's why I chose them. Uh, when you go up front, 
These are also Peterson clearance lights. Now, the way I have these wired up is the outside ones are marker lights. The inside ones are supposed to be turn signals. Uh, I have a turn signal column that I can plug into this and it'll make the outsides clearance when you use the turn signals. These will be the turn signals, but since I don't have it on because I don't use the turn signals, I threw a jumper wire in there just to make two clearance lights on the front. But like I said, if I ever put the plug in, I remove the jumper wire, the insides are turn signals, the outsides are markers. Uh, these used to have halogen headlights in them. I replaced them with these LEDs. And then I got this brush guard light. I'll put a link in the description below on that. Uh, that was a really good price, really bright, fits in here perfect. Let me go around to the back and show you the rear lights. All right, four inch round LED. They're just like regular truck, semi truck lights. Uh, I do have that hooked up still to where when you put the brakes on, they do have brake lights. And then for underneath the cart, I got these slimline LEDs that fit up in there perfect. And you can even barely see that they're in there. And I did a video on these before on a uh, equipment trailer for backup lights. Uh, you guys can go check out, but I'll show you how bright them are at night too. I also did side marker lights as well, just for something fun to do. And of course, I got the rear clearance lights back there, so. All right, I wanted to show you guys the horn. Um, right up in here is a compressor. I mounted, took to a relay. I mounted it right to the frame. It's got a rubber hose that comes down and the horn is right here. I don't know if you can see it down there. I nestled it down there in the frame rail and it points out right there. So you get a pretty good sound blast from this thing coming out the front. So I can't remember where I picked that up at, but I think I got three or four of them because they were, they were pretty inexpensive for what they were. And I figured I'd have some fun down the road with that. So I um, wanted to go ahead and share that with you. All right, I'll do a quick walk around here. This is with the clearance lights, and I got the footboard lights on. Uh, these are a real thin light. They're super bright. Uh, they fit underneath there perfect. Like I said, a lot of times if you're at a campground or something, you just got the cart sitting. Lights up all the footboards at night. Uh, for the headlights, to show you how bright they are, I'm at the 225-yard mark, so way back there at the end of the woods. That's just regular headlights. And then when you throw the brush guard light on, it really makes a big difference. I don't know if you guys can see in the camera, but I got about five deer laying back here staring at me. But, so that's regular. And then that's the brush guard light. So, uh, one last thing I did want to show you guys. That's the reverse lights. Um, them two little LEDs. They're only like seven inches wide, but for backing up or doing things the rear of the cart, if you need to hook up to a trailer or do anything. Uh, them lights are really bright for a small package. If you were sitting on the seat, that's how bright they would be. Uh, All right, so that's some of the ideas that I did to the, the club car. Hope this was informative, uh, helped some of you guys. I, I tried to do this as, you know, make the video as short as I possibly could to show you guys all the different things that I did. Uh, sometimes the videos just, you know, get longer than I'd like them to be. But 
that hopefully gave you guys some ideas. Like I said, check in the description below. I'll put some of the things down there that uh, I did buy from Amazon. And if you want to see more, uh, be sure to subscribe. As always, thanks for watching.